Alright guys, we're back again here with Dark Souls 2 Episode 7. So, last time we beat the Pursuer and now let's travel back to Cardinal Tower. And look around at the same spot we found that nest again, because there was more to explore I guess. So I want to explore that first. Also, we got that one key for the the mansion here in Majula, so we should check that out after that. Maybe we find something interesting or important in there. I mean, we already found a tiny slab. Maybe we found even more slabs or stuff like this. Who knows? So let's go there again. Down here. Should start leveling up the other stats as well, then, like like vitality and how is it called? Endurance. Whoa! What did I do there? Get down! Oh, that gives you a parry. Alright, maybe I need to time that a bit better in the future. But that's not why we are here right now. Let's get the Albert guy first. Or not. Albert guy, please. Now you make me mad, my friend. Get life jam, let's heal. Set heal. Get up to the pursuer tower again. Let's see if there was actually more or not. Well, we found the crow nest. This game actually really, really looks nice if you ask me. Nothing here. Oh, nearly, <laughs> nearly just jumped down there, but that's not too bad, I guess. There's only the crow nest. Nothing here. Alright, seems like we have nothing left, but going down here. Or was I mistaken? No. There was an item. Let's check around here. Here's a... No, that was not breakable. What's that? Dranglick sword shield. Oh, let's check that out. Oh, yeah, quality weapon. Oh, that's a good shield. I should have. It's that and upgraded that instead of my oh well. So I wasted some upgrade materials. Who cares? Let's get that shield. How about the armor I got? Let's check that out. Well it doesn't look too bad, but it's damn Heavy. Puts me way too high over my head. Even that, the shield is heavy. The shield is quite heavy. So even without something like this. What puts me over my equip burden? Over that 50% I don't wanna go above. 
No, can't. What's that element there? <laughs> so basically, we use the starter set again, if, ed if everyone starts with. Oh well. The shield seems to be worth it. Just look even even better than my upgraded shield of this one here, so I mean not in every stat, but at least it blocks one hundred percent physical. And has where is it? Way higher here, yeah, way higher no, it's actually not that much higher, it's only thirteen higher. That should be enough. Alright, so we can jump back here. Now they are down here again. Alright. I see. So let's get back to the bonfire. Wait, it wasn't here. Let's cut back at the bonfire first. And then check the door that's on the other side of this room. No, not here. Other side I said. Let's get rid of this dude first. Get down, my friend. Just get down. Right, so we got this. Now oh, let's go. Here, and I think he was. Yeah, here was the door. Maybe I can open it as well. Yes, the little key. This lead to. Yes, the elevator I can't go on. Yeah, here I have a chest. Ring of Restoration. Sounds intriguing. What does it do? No, that's that. Ring of Restoration. It gradually restores HP. That sounds nice. Does it, does it say how much per second as well? No. So I guess it's around, you know, Sanctus level from Dark Souls. Produce the symbol of the king. Right, so that's basically like the orange fog gates or the. from Dark Souls or the. Really thick white fog in front uh, after the Tower Knight fight in Demon Souls. Need something first to proceed here. All right, can see that. Well, I think let's check out that mansion in the in the village at Majula back again. Maybe we find something interesting there. Let's go here. Travel Majula. Yes. Quite nice stuff that we just found yet. Now, it's really nice. Even though I'm a bit mad that I wasted money on my owl shield, and now this one seems to be better. Especially since the smith only sells ten of them, and now I can't upgrade that shield fully anymore. But oh well. Also, just so if we find another covenant, let's abandon the current one. So we don't have to. What is Trezel again? Yeah, but extremely expensive stuff. Easier to be detected by enemies. I see. Alright. Ah, that's some PvP ring, I guess. Like, when somebody invades you, you can have voice chat with them. Yes, Abandoned Covenant. And leave. Yes, yes, I'm quite satisfied. Let's check out if we can open that door now. 
house key, yes. Let's be careful. Don't know what's in here. Here's something. But I can't see anything yet. Here's a treasure chest. Anything up here? Can't see anything. Let's open that chest. Titanite shard again. Torch. As well. Right. More here? No. No, nothing. So let's go back down again. There was more to explore here. Way more. Let's go down first. Be cautious. Oh, a bonfire? Is this a bonfire or what is it? No, that's not a bonfire. I was totally mistaken. That's just some torch or something like this. Maybe giving us a hint that it's quite dark here. But there's nothing. Oh, that's maybe the hint that we should have had a torch down here. A skeleton. Wonder if they have a necromancer as well. No, they give us souls. They definitely gave us a soul. So either way. The necromancer will rise to many can farm souls here forever. Or there's just no necromancer, at least not here. Which I think is the correct way to think. Soul vessel, what does a soul vessel does? Let's check that out. Is it here? Soul vessel. Show this to a certain person and a vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow reallocation of so levels, but without proper assistance it may simply drain your souls. You should start again, go to place where your journey began. So can I show this to the to the three old ladies back in the Oh, I'm over 50% I just saw. I thought it was under it. Let's go under it then. What was I thinking? Now I lost track of what I was thinking. Not a fan of using one of those. No, definitely not. Yeah, uh, maybe those three old ladies at the start of the game, or maybe the fire, you know, the fire keeper, the, you know, the, the one that lets us level up. Oh, wings weigh something. That's what I think. That's why I'm overweight now. Yeah, wings have weight now. Got that. So let's get rid of. That's that heavy. That's damn heavy. Alright, wait, maybe we can get at least some better armor then. Hmm. Yes, we can. Alright. So, yeah, maybe she lets us. You no, know, reset our stats again and then level up again when we make some mistakes which can be useful I guess in PvP if you mislevel your character and now we want something different instead we already were there, we were there there's the main entrance so let's check out what's here Looks like there's nothing here. Really? An empty room? Oh no. There's something. Another lockstone, alright. 
And we got that shard of uh, that Estus Flask shard, so let's bring it to her as well. And now the question is where do I wanna proceed? Where do I wanna go now? Is that a shard? It yes, it's a shard. Upgrade. No, that was wrong. Has this last strength leave? No, yes. she does not seem to have anything to say to that uh, that soul vessel we found. So well, now should I go to the place where I just warped? Uh, where I, not where I warped, where I found that you know that crow nest? Or should I go here? Because like I said, I was a bit in here in my first attempt that I deleted because it did, yeah, you know, it did, uh, the recordings did not work at all. So maybe let's try this area again. Or better said, <laughs> really, let's try this area because I haven't tried much in here. Alright, let's open the chest. Crimson Parma, nothing from interest for me. It's just a shield. Let's activate that lever so that door goes up. Let me pass. Then let's get that item over here. Nothing too fancy. Get up here, or oh, yeah, I think it was only another level or something like this. Well, not even. Oh, yeah, here's another level if you want to go back again. Because this door closes again, like you just see now, after a certain amount of time. <laughs> so, if you proceed from this uh, the side we are now, you need to, to uh, use that level instead. Well, let's go out of here. And you are on Hyde's Tower of Flame. And there is a bonfire. It's quickly activated. Alright, got this. Can I attune spells? No, I don't have sufficient slots for any spells right now. Much damage to I to deal to those guys now. Yeah, that's quite good. First time I did like no damage to them. Now that's got. Does he drop old knight helm? Check that helm out. Oh, it's quite heavy. How does it look? Yeah, like nothing. Let's put it off again and continue with the level. Here we got another of these dudes, but this one uses a big club. Yeah, this, sh this shield is really good. Oh, he got me there. But now we got him. What does he draw? Sublime Bone Dust. What's that? Blind bone dust, where is it? Is that? Yeah. Burn in bonfire to upgrade Estus flasks. Oh, so that's basically like. I don't know. How does that work? Let's read, read the description. Charred ashen bones. Cast them into the far fire in Majula to increase the HP restored with each of. Oh, so that's the increasing for. Yeah, that increases how much uh, HP you you uh, regenerate, while the other one, if you bring her the shards, gives you more Estus flask. So it's, you need to upgrade your Estus in two ways now. That's interesting. Let's 
be cautious. We don't want to fall off a ledge here. You're too fast for you, my friend. My good old club here can do a lot of damage. What's this? Lloyd's Talisman. Wait, what's... What's that? Bullet. Oh, what does that do? Something in that room over there. I know that's the boss room because in my first playthrough I ran to the, to the boss, but I never was able to defeat the boss. But this seems to make the boss fight easier if you do it like this. I will explain it to you guys when I'm in the actual boss fight. These dudes seem to only want to one v one me because the other dudes just block the the exits. They don't. You see, now the the other two want to fight me at once. The first dude wants to one v one me. Let's be. Whoa. <laughs> that cut can be dangerous here. Yeah, dangerous like this or this. Let's use a life gem. What did he drop? Cracked blue eye orb. Alright. How about you guys? You both wanna fight? No, the one is just blocking the exit again. Uh, this dude wants to fight me. And now the other one wants to fight as well. Seems like this is definitely the right way now, not the one we could uh not the one with the crow. Alright. Not too fast or I will fall down the divine blessing again. Seems like you get more of those things in that game. Haven't used one yet. We will see how that will work out if I ever use one. I ever think it is necessary to use a divine blessing. Alright, and here we have a lone knight left. Alright, got this dude down. Did not drop anything. What's this? Oh! I heard that sound before, so some, somewhere else needs to be a lever as well. Need to track that out again. In the room, you know, where the three knights were engaging me. Where the two were blocking the entrances. And the other two did nothing. Let's check down there again. Because that could be interesting. If there's actually something here now. Let's see, yeah, there it is. What does this one do? Seems like something happens in the boss fight again. In the boss room, not in the boss fight. Alright. Let's go the other way we just found. I haven't explored the area too much. I just straight run to the boss when I see it did like no damage to those giants. And so if I can deal damage to the boss, and that was that's all I did in that playthrough. And then everything else, like I said, there's nothing more I know about this game. Didn't even know the area I explored before. Oh, is this another another boss fight? Old Radiant Life Gem. I could equip those right now, but let's not do it exactly right now.
Ring of Binding. Check that out real quick. What do you do? Limits HP reduction in hollow. Alright, so when I'm hollow again, I won't lose as much health every time I die. Could engage here now. But I think I will do the boss before I go here. Because this up here could be another boss. And I think doing the boss down there would be would be better now because that's the part I still know about the game. Well I don't know what this leads to up here. So let's hurry up. Go to that boss. Wait, did I? I think I already did. Yeah, I already did activate that one. Something here? No, nothing here. There's another big knight. Let's get that chest here first. Green Blossom. Engage this knight as well. You're down, my friend. You're going down. Alright, I got this dude down. What's that? Who the fuck is that? That's an NPC character. That's an NPC character, but let's not get him for this battle. Looks a bit like Leroy, doesn't he? The helmet. It's like... Like, a bit like Leroy. A darker version of Leroy, you could say, with a Zweihander. Let's call it Zweihander, like it's really uh, pronounced in German. Zweihander. Alright, but let's do that boss and see if we can beat him. Dragon Rider. Yeah, because this what I activated the levels made the boss easier because where I stand now where actually you could fall down here and then you were instant death. But right, with the activated levels there seems to be everything fine now. You can't fall down anymore. We do quite some good damage to this dude. I think more than we did to the Pursuer. Dragon Rider. It's the name of this boss. Pattern seems quite easy as well. But let's not get cocky. Yeah, like this. Oh, he will send us flying. Let's heal. What's he doing? Just waiting for the right moment. He always gets me on that wake ups. Uh, on the roll wake ups, better said, the roll recovery. Like this. Alright, we got that dude down. And I think that's quite enough for this episode, guys. Ending it with another boss fight. So, like always, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. But till then, I am out.